Under Baghdad's scorching sun, electricity workers go from house to house to collect their dues. Government electricity in Iraq is heavily subsidized. Hussein's monthly bill is $16. But like most Iraqis, people living in this neighborhood only get a few hours of electricity per day during the summer. And amid rising temperatures, their anger at the government is boiling over. Look at me, I'm sweating. You're talking to me and I'm full of sweat. From 2003 until now, God brought these people upon us as a punishment. Where's the electricity? They're all thieves. It's a state of thieves. When the government cuts electricity, the family relies on the neighborhood's private generator company. That costs the family four times as much as they pay the government. But the power from the generator is not enough to run the air conditioner, so everyone gathers in the living room where only an old air cooler and a fan offer respite from the heat. Next door, Hussein's wife Maida prepares the family's lunch with only a small fan to battle the heat. Every hour the power cuts and we have to run to turn off all the appliances, including the fridge and the freezer. If I want to run the washing machine, I have to turn off everything else. It's so difficult. The family would be willing to pay more for government electricity if supply was stable. Some accuse the private generator companies of exploiting people by charging high tariffs. But this provider says his price does not cover the cost of fuel and maintenance. We are not the ones deciding on the price we charge per ampere. It's decided by the mayor and local council and the income is not enough. The poor state of Iraq's power infrastructure is the result of decades of war, corruption and mismanagement. Rapid population growth has further added pressure on the grid. It's 48 degrees Celsius today and in the hour that we've been filming here, electricity has cut three times. The previous electricity minister told Al Jazeera a few months ago that the government had added 3,500 megawatts to the grid since 2018, increasing capacity by 22 percent. But many people here say that they're not seeing the difference on the ground. Earlier this month, the parliament formed a committee to investigate corruption in the Ministry of Electricity. The Prime Minister also announced a deal to import electricity from the Gulf, but that will take time. I wish there was a magic solution, but unfortunately many years of sabotage, corruption and mismanagement can't be solved overnight. It's not fair to ask a government that's been in power for two months to pay the bill for the pillaging committed by previous groups and governments. As the power cuts push many Iraqis to the brink of exhaustion, Confidence that Prime Minister Mustafa al kadimis transitional government can resolve deeply rooted structural issues is melting away, leaving many Iraqis to find other ways to escape the stifling heat. Simona Fultin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.